Hello, Dan. Happy Monday. Nice to see you. Hey, how are you? to see you too, even you know I can't see you, but I know you're there, which is fantastic, fantastic, it's always a test for the brain to see if I can sing and play at the same time, I mean not sing and play at the same time, talk and play at the same time, you would think I can because I can sing and play at the same time, but it I think it's a little different. It's accessing the language centers in my brain in a different way. And it's putting words to the music that don't typically go with the music. So it's a little bit funny. Um, so, you know, I didn't really, <coughs> excuse me, have a plan for tonight. Kind of wanted to leave it a bit loosey goosey and see what, uh, what kind of bubbled up to the surface. It's a stormy day here in Victoria. Probably is where you are too, Dan. Hello, and Dorian Guitar Works. Thanks for joining. Um, <clears throat> tell us where you're joining from. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd just see what kind of bubbled up tonight. Uh, I do have a couple of episodes planned coming up where I have some special guests that'll join me at future Mondays. So I'll have um, Aaron Trory, who's a singer songwriter and multi-instrumentalist. Hello, big man, Bernie. Thanks for joining. Um, uh, so I'll have Aaron Trory joining me in a few weeks time. Um, and that's because I'm going to be releasing a single, a live single, a live version of my song, Reprieve. So some of you have, who have been following my single releases might remember uh, that I released a synthwave remix of Reprieve in the fall. So I'm going to release a live version of that song and it's not synthwave, it's a uh, folk rock. Folk rock or Baroque pop, um, however you want to classify my uh, my regular music, the regular music I do. So, and Aaron uh, is, has been the bass player in my band and Aaron has also sung on a couple of songs with me um, and Reprieve is one of them. So I've invited Aaron to join. Uh, that'll be on <clears throat> February 27th. So he'll join the live stream and we'll talk about the experience of of singing that one together. Um, so that'll be fun. And then a little bit later, I don't have a specific date in mind yet, I'll have John Flatman join me. And John is a videographer and musician from here in Victoria. And John has made a couple of videos for me now. Um, and I have a new one coming out for Carrier Hotel that that John made and just recently finished. So I'm gonna be setting the release date for that. So John's gonna join the live stream in a few weeks time to talk about that. Um, John's also in a local Victoria group called Sail Cassidy. I just love their music. Um, so yeah, check that out. Um, yeah, so I was thinking a little bit today about um, music and the power of music you know I could be in the worst mood possible and you know it's funny my partner always says to me you know Monday nights you always say after work and after dinner oh I wish I wasn't doing musical Mondays and maybe I shouldn't be admitting that 
on my live stream, but it's true. Um, you know, sometimes I just want to curl up in a ball and read my book or do something mindless like watch TV. But playing music always changes my mindset. Just puts me in the best mood and connecting with all of you, of course. So I was kind of thinking, you know, when I posted about Musical Mondays today, I <coughs> included a, a little meme about music being therapy and, um, you know, how we all have those songs that we listen to on repeat. I don't know, I'd love to hear from those of you who are in the room tonight. Just put in the chat. Uh, what are those songs that are like therapy to you? You know, they're mood changers as soon as you hear them. Or, uh, you know, you listen to them on repeat. You never get tired of them. Would love to hear that. Um, so while you're typing in the chat, because I know it always takes a few minutes <coughs> for that to show up, excuse me. <coughs> um, I'm going to play a little bit of one of my songs, um, which always changes my mood. It's one I love to sing. Um, it's The Great Acceleration. Um, so I'll sing a little bit of that. And then I was going to do a little experiment, because um, there's a song that I love <clears throat> by Florence and the Machine called South London Forever. So I was going to... I was gonna sing a little bit of that, and you know, it's a it's an experiment because I've I've only really I know the song to listen to it and to kind of hum along and and uh, meditate along with it, but I've never I've never sung the song, so this will be just a an experiment of me trying to sing it for the first time. Hello, Inner Vortex. Thanks for joining. I'm asking people to put in the chat what are those songs that are, or a song that is like music therapy for you. Um, you know, that you could listen to over and over again that are mood changers. And while you guys are doing that, I'm going to play a little bit or maybe the whole thing of my song, The Great Acceleration. <clears throat> if these are empties, I want to stay and watch the world decay. I can't do it alone. I want you. Oh. 
Soul World Peach Records. Thanks for joining. And thank you very much. That is a high compliment, Joan Baez Vibes. All right, everybody. So I'm looking in the chat to see if I've got some songs from people that they have, they feel are music therapy. Thank you for the hearts, people. Um, so uh, for those of you who may have just joined, talking a little bit about music as therapy and what are those uh, what are those vibe changers and mood changers for you songs. So that one that I just sang is one of mine, the great acceleration that uh, I love singing. It uh, yeah, is it definitely a mood changer for me? Um, let's see, Big Man Bernie says, I have a couple of instrumentals that are go-tos for me. Okay, cool. Um, your own instrumentals that you've written or instrumentals from another artist. Do tell. Oh, Mac Miller in your Vortex. Thank you for sharing that. A particular song or just generally Mac Miller? You know, I don't know their music that well. I should check that out. Uh, St. Katerina Twang West is currently on repeat. Wow, I have never heard of that artist. Is that classical? Something classical, Bernie? Do tell. Um, all right, so, uh, let's see. Yeah, this is a bit of a loosey-goosey episode tonight. So, um, I thought I might just experiment with a song that I like, that sometimes I, oh, it's Surf Tango, okay. I'm noting these artists and I'm gonna check them out, thank you. So um, there's a number of artists that I absolutely love. Well, actually many. Um, singer, songwriters, okay, Dee Dee Ray is the artist. Okay, um, yeah, a lot, lots of artists that I love, songwriters. Um, one of them um, is uh, Florence and the Machine. So Florence Welch, I love her writing. Um, she's kind of, she's a poet first, I think, like me. Um, so a lot of, a lot of my sense is a lot of her songs from what I've heard her say and just that she's released a book of poetry. A lot of her songs come from poems that she's written. So, um, you know, I kind of came to Florence and the Machine quite late. I don't know where I was. I was hiding under a rock or something, I guess. Um, I went to a festival in Vancouver I guess that was 2018 now, September 2018. Can't even remember what it was called, but it was a big music festival in Stanley Park. It's the only one that, it's the only time it's happened and had huge names, big name artists, a lot of, lots of female artists, which was fantastic. Um, Metric was there, um, uh, St. Vincent and Florence and the Machine. You know, I, of course I'd heard the name Florence and the Machine. <laughs> I had no idea about their music. So I was blown away. Like I was sitting on the grass in the rain thinking, oh my goddess, how did I not, how have I not heard of this person before and this music? So ever since then, I've been completely in love with their music. My dog's barking downstairs. Um, yeah, so I thought one of, I would play one of the songs that is on repeat for me. Um, Okay, Self Care by Mac Miller. Okay, I'm gonna check that out. Um, so one of the songs I absolutely love by Florence and the Machine is South London Forever. And I've never played it before, so please be uh, please be gentle and accepting of me as I kind of find my way through the song. Um, and I guess one reason why I really like this song, or maybe more than one reason, is I like the conversational tone of it. I like that it's uh, placing the songwriter in a specific place and time and uh, talking about the songwriter or the character's past and history. And there's, there's notable um, 
touch points in it of place and time. I love that when that happens in song where you can kind of kind of place yourself there with with the writer. Um, I also love there's a line. I'm just going to scroll down through the lyrics so I can see here on my little iPad. Um, there's a part of the uh, I think it's the, the third verse. Um, oh, I'll just read the third verse out. It goes, we're just children wanting children of our own. I want a space to watch things grow. But did I dream too big? Do I have to let it go? And what if one day there is no such thing as snow? And I don't know why, but that that line just kind of really hit me and 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 moved me when I when I heard it for the first time. I was probably because at the time I was writing my last album, the song I'll write for my whole life and that album was full of songs about grief and wonder uh, for the world around me and grief kind of because I was seeing or maybe becoming more aware of the climate catastrophe that was upon us and this this song just kind of struck me as uh, somebody who's much younger than me who is also thinking about these things and what does the future hold. So it really struck me. So there's a little bit about why I love this song. So I'm going to give it a try. And again, remember to be gentle and kind with your Musical Mondays host. Let me find it. I don't know if anybody knows the song. Maybe give a thumbs up in the chat if you know the song. I go home alone. I drive past the place where I was born. Places that I used to dream. Young and drunk and stumbling in the street outside the joiner's arms like falls unsteady on their feet. With the art students and the boys in bands High on the and holding hands with someone that I've just met And I thought it doesn't get better than this There can be nothing better than this I have to speed up my scrolling than this we climbed onto the roof of the museum and someone made love in the past and I forgot my name and the way back to my mother's house with your black paws and your bitten lips the world is at your fingertips it doesn't get
I've seen I've seen the fields of flame But everything I ever did Was just another way to scream your name Thank you for listening and for your kindness, everybody. Hello, Travi Austin. Thanks for joining. How lovely to see you. Yeah, I love that song. So anyway, that was uh, that was fun to sing that and explore that and be inside the words and the melody of that song. It's uh, the recording um, by Florence and the Machine is, oh, thank you so much, uh, World Peach Records. Um, and thank you, Bernie. <laughs> Thanks so much. Um, I don't know if you've heard the original of the song, but the arrangement is so lush, very much Baroque, Baroque, uh, Baroque folk pop, I might say art pop, but yeah, it's uh, interesting to, to try and uh, find some of the tones just by using some of the open strings and picked strings. And just let the melody meander between those notes. It's just three chords actually. G major, F major, and A minor. I just think that's the sign of a great songwriter that they can tell a story with those three basic chords. So beautiful. Anyway, you know, we're at uh, about 23 minutes and I try to keep these episodes as those of you who know, who, uh, who join me uh, almost every week, I try to keep these episodes uh, to t about 25 minutes, definitely under 30. So it's easier for me to, to scrub them from Instagram later and pop them into my YouTube channel. So I'm going to wind down for the night and I thank you all for joining. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, great to see you all. I uh, hope you'll come back. I might not be doing an episode next week. I have some family visiting, so I might not do it, but I might. Um, but you'll find out uh, if you see on my Instagram thread. Um, I'll post a day or so before, letting you know if I'm going to go live Monday night. Uh, thank you, Bernie. Great to see you. And my parents were tickled that you were part of the live stream last week when they were there, by the way. Um, and just remember that on February 27th, uh, when I do the live stream, when I do Musical Mondays that night, I'm going to have Aaron Trory with me and we're going to talk about singing the song Reprieve together. Um, so yeah, that'll be great. Thanks everybody. Take good care and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks, Dan. Bye for now.